Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have the review of the HG Reiki Kai from the Kyokai Senki series part 2. So I'm not sure if part 2 and is the same term as season 2 these days when it comes to anime, but yeah, you, you get the gist of it. Alright, so the Reiki Kai, now originally I believe this and the uh, Brady Fox was released last week in Japan, but uh, due to the situation in Korea, there was this other event that was going on, so this was released this week in Korea, so I am a week late. But once again, I've already, already mentioned this multiple times, I am really enjoying the Kyokai Senki series as the anime. Of course, there are a little bit too much politics in part 2, but still, I do enjoy the overall series and I do enjoy the kits. Now, um, back then I didn't own the original uh, HG Kenbu, but among the stuff I had, so basically, basically the Jogan and then their uh, and then the Byakuchi, uh, the Reiki, the original Reiki was also pretty much the best when it came to articulation because uh, there were other like locks and limitations on certain parts in terms of articulation but the Reiki was the first one um, for me to not have those limitations so yeah hopefully uh, and this one I can definitely see you know it's still the same structure but some uh, designs have, have been changed and upgraded alright so let's get on to the review right away so uh, as you can see compared to the original one we do have a lot of, uh, a good amount of changes uh, so let's see what we got. So let's go over the components. So first of all, what you get, of course, is obviously the Reiki Kai itself. Definitely um, it, a very uncommon yellow color out there. It's, I believe these type of yellow colors are usually used in those resin uh, parts. As far as I know, I never tried those, but I've seen some images. Uh, Hand-wise, you do have the multi-purpose hands at the moment, uh, but you do get some other hands. And we do get some more extra equipment, like such as on the back, we do get some missile launchers or missile containers to be more specific. And then we do get more wings and other designs. So other than that, here are the equipment. So first of all, hand-wise, other than the multi-purpose hands, we do get a set of open-style hands. So nothing too special there. And for some reason, we stu still do get a trigger finger hand. But the Reiki does not use any uh, gun-type weapons or handheld guns. So this one is pretty much you know, not going to be used unless you, you plan to uh, make a new custom based on the Reiki. And then we get the Naginara. Now this is a upgrade of Naginara because back then it would be a folding type. Now this one is more like a sliding type. So you can see it can, and you can pull out and become more, you know, longer Naginara. Or you can kind of fold it back in and make it look like a buster sword type weapon. So it's, it really depends on uh, your preferences. Now color wise, this isn't, this isn't exactly accurate according to the manual. Now the end tip of the handle has to be the same yellow as the Reiki. And then the blade wise, I believe the end tip when they're activated, they do glow blue, so I guess that is some parts that you might need to consider coloring if you want to go 100% color accurate. And once again, we do get some sticker sheets. Now, some of them are the still typical ones. We still get the gold piston stickers. We still get the vent stickers on the back. Now, these ones are mostly used on the like legs and crotch area, so uh, the small ones are, aren't too like noticeable, but they uh, but they do they might be required. These two. Uh, once again, might be required as well. So it really depends on your taste, but I will show the, show you guys where the stickers are supposed to be. All right, and here we have some leftover parts now because this being an upgraded version of the original Reiki, obviously the not everything 100% is like brand new. They all obviously use certain parts. Uh, from the previous one, so which is why we do have some leftovers. Now, of course, there are certain parts that I don't really recognize, so it could be just my memory being rusty. So we have a double plate here, so we have these type of uh, inner parts or slash joint parts all over the place, so that's that. And then here we have some parts from the original one. I believe this is the original arm part for the original Reiki. And then let's see what we got. So here we have another plate here, so once again, original parts from the original Reiki as well. And yeah, another repeat. So leftover part wise, there's not much. So it's not something too like it's not like a game changer kind of thing. So that, that's that. And hopefully, uh, I did change my batteries on this rotating stand. I hope it's not too fast. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got. All right. So let's start from the head. As usual, I will say the the Kyokai Senki is despite they, that they use stickers, the parts that they don't use on stickers, they, they do a really good job on the part separations or color separations, if you may. All right, so, oops, sorry about that. So here we have the head part. Uh, once again, there's no stickers inside the head as well. Everything is color separated and the inside piece is a clear light, I think it's supposed to be more of a light blue. But, well, it, it depends on how you look at it, but it's more like a light blue slash a, a little bit of a mix of green color going on there. So still, um, they did a really good job on the head sculpt as well. Um, and then the articulation is pretty much what you think. It can go down that much and then up that much as well. And what's 
with the head upwards, you can now rotate the head 360 if you want to do so. Although just be careful not to collide with other parts, especially the chin area will collide with these parts a lot. So make sure you have the head all the way up when you're rotating the head. And then because of the neck joint, you do get a forward and backward movement going on here like that. But not too much, That's, I guess I should mention that. All right, so now let's get the arms. Now the arms, obviously, the uh, before I go to the arms, I just would like to mention the upgraded like units, like the, like the Jogan Kai, the Jogan, the Reiki Kai, the Kembuzan. All of them, they still use the sim same basis in terms of build. Now the only changes would be like the outer like design. So uh, structure-wise, if you built a you know any of the Kyokai Senki series kits, like the the males unit, you should know what to expect. All right, so the shoulders, we still have this this flap here, once again, um, still exists. And then the shoulders still do move, go forward and backward like that. Still has the same, oops, wrong place to grab. So we still get the same articulation there. And then when you move the shoulder forward, the piston still works in that as well. So this gold section here is a, sti is a sticker, so uh, keep in mind. And then the arms can go still out, outwards to the 90 degrees. Of course, the shoulder, shoulder is going to collide with the arm there. Uh, shoulder is going to collide with the head there and then 360 on the arm is still possible going 360 on the entire arm is possible and bend wise obviously you can go forward as well and because of this structure you you can go backwards if you want to do so for some reason and then yes and then on the outer part here so on the inside parts there is another joint so you can ro rotate the entire arm hand area if you want to do so and your hands are still typical ball jointed hands plastic ball joints so there's no poly caps in here and then for those who don't remember, the Reiki actually used to have a neck gun that could that you, that you slap onto the arm. Now instead of that, they kind of built in certain stuff here. Of course, the color is not accurate. I don't know why they did this, but still, the gun, these barrels should be in a more darker color, if you ask me. But still, um, I believe these ones should, might shoot bullets because I might need to rewatch the late, la latest episode. I do remember the Reiki taking pose to use this, but once again, I could be memorizing it differently. But still, uh, yeah, that is one area that you might want to consider, consider the color. And then on the shoulders, we do get these thrusters going on here. They, because they are on the peg, you can rotate them forward or backward if you want to do so. And then you, there's another joint here, so you can go up, oh, oops, sorry about that, up and down like that. And then while this is pretty much meant for certain poses, so these are supposed to be like extra thrusters going on here, so, so that, you know, so this is more for the flying aspect, so keep that in mind. All right, so before we go to the other sections, let's get the back here. So we get a new backpack here, uh, or more of back equipment. So these are all missile, this, these two are missile containers. I believe each contains about 18 missiles and we actually do see them using this in the series. So yeah, this thing can now fly around and now spray missiles on their enemies. So it's a pretty good, cool concept and these are on peg so you can rotate them a bit if you want to do so. Or if you just don't like them, you can always, you know, take the entire backpack off. And here's where those vent stickers are supposed to be. But once again, because of the overall color wise, you can just color the inside black, set, black like what, what I did. So that's that. Of course, now having the backpack may, be, may affect the wingspan or articulation, but you can still work your way around. Because once again, as I mentioned, these parts do move. So you can always reposition them if you want to do so. So for now, I'm gonna take them off just for the sake of it. All right, so we've seen that. And now the body articulation is overall the same. You still have your nice ab crunch going on here, and then you can rotate side to side, but of course in an angle because of the, of the structure here. So you can go in an angle. So 360, not gonna be easy unless you, you have, it's not gonna be really easy. You're gonna have to work your way around. But once again, even so, I think it might be actually impossible because of the angle there. But yeah, you still get your st same articulation on the body. And then the leg wise, you still get the same you know, structure. But once again, uh, another part for the stickers is that these, this part here, this gray section on the arm is a sticker. Uh, and then another sticker is on the legs here, on the here, this, this part is a sticker. So there's four stickers of these parts as well. These are the one of the stickers that I personally don't want to recommend because they don't really apply that cleanly. So if you don't mind not being color accurate, maybe it would be better not to apply it. Just my, you know, uh, opinion. All right, so for the legs, you still have, you can go forward uh, about 90 degrees as well. And then backwards might be tricky because of the wings. So um, you're gonna have to like move it away and then go backwards like that. So that's that. And then here we have on the, uh, whatchamacallit, on the knee sections or something like that. These are also extra thrusters as far as I know for help uh, for the flight flying aspect. And then uh, Ben Wise, now the Reiki was, uh, the Reiki was, I believe, one of the few uh, 
mills unit that didn't have any locking mechanism so that this could go all the way around so once again that's it that still exists here so no no need to worry about that so technically i think you might be even go able to go 360 if you want to do so but as long as there's nothing else blocking your way so yeah that is uh, interesting and for those who might have not tried the Kyokai Sinki series kit is that because of the leg structure is like this it might get some time to get used to it but still it is fun uh, and then once again I uh, believe yeah th these white sections they did a really good job on the part separations here as well and then the feet um, yeah still uh, the same structure while well, you do have a nice pivot joint going on here as well and then you can bend oops yeah uh, Sorry about that, that is a clip type joint, so you can bend the toe downwards if you want to do so. That does not apply to the back section though. Alright, that's that, and then finally, for let's look at the back skirt slash wings, yes. Back then, uh, I do remember seeing some comments where they didn't like the original wing design because they just looked too simple. Now this one I think you might actually like in terms of design, but the storage mint, it may not look that cool. So this is how it stores now, it's like, instead of having a huge chunk one huge chunk, now you have two huge chunks right over here. So the way how this is supposed to work is that you're supposed to open up the wings like this and then spread out like that. So you can definitely say, see that it's gonna have a huge, long wingspan and then you're supposed to rotate these parts downward. So the top section here is supposed to be like a thruster, but on the other side, you can see it looks like more like a latch door going on here. So this is also a missile container. So I believe according to the manual, this contains three missiles. So even in the last episode, we did actually see the Reiki use these in action, so yeah. So the interesting thing about the Reiki is that they actually did a lot to modify this. So what they did is to reduce the weight as much as possible so that it can carry, um, it can still carry this, uh, a lot more you know, weapons going on here. So what, what happened is that they reduced a lot to the point where even with everything on, there's practically no changes in weight with everything like attached and loaded. So that's a pretty good, you know, good, you know, improvement if you ask me. So once again, you have to expand it down and then rotate it. Oops, sorry about that. You have to rotate it like this. So you can definitely tell it's going to have a huge wingspan going on here. So that's that. Oops, and yeah, there we go. So we've seen the basics of the articulation here. And once again, just for the sake of reference, uh, for the Naginata, you can always just plug it into the hand instead of like taking off the handguard. So no need to worry about that. All right, so we've seen the basics of articulation on the kit. So I think. The only thing that I haven't showed would be pretty much the leg spread, but once again, at this point, you should, you know, expect this as well, and then with a the nice size swivel. And then the last sticker that I haven't mentioned would be the on the crotch area, right over here, this gray section right over here on the white piece. So, yeah, sticker-wise, it's not much, and some of them can be colored as long as you have the right color paint, so, yeah. Uh, so, I'll be right back with some demonstrations, so let's see what we get from there. Okay, I'm back. So here we have the demonstration of the flight pose going on here. So obviously there are multiple ways to pose this guy, but once again, I would like to show like the basics one, uh, the more the basic ones that everybody could do, and the ones that could be like easily mentioned as well. So here we have the wingspan down. It's a very long wingspan or wide wingspan to the point where I can't really rotate <laughs> this in my sh bookshelf easily. So yeah, let's keep that in mind. But once again, there is an action hole. Uh, action base holder on, on the uh, crotch area on the lower crotch area so obviously you can use, utilize that as well and there are a few art articulations i forgot to mention is that the the wings on the waist section there that you can you can move it side to side you can kind of tilt it going on here depending on your angle and then you can also go forward and backward a little bit as well because there is a like a hinge joint uh, connected to it but it is a stiff hinge joint so it's not going to move that smoothly and for the feet as well, uh, there is one more tobin on the lower section right over there. So if you want to utilize that, utilize that as well. So once again, then holding the Naginata with two hands is no problem as well, since because the articulation of this kit is pretty good. Now remember when you're doing the flight pose, make sure that you know the thrusters on the uh, knee area and on the shoulder area is like facing the correct direction, so that you know you can get more out of it. And once again, despite the having the wings all out, the backpack doesn't really collide as much as I thought with the wings, but it does collide, these missile launchers or containers do collide uh, a bit with the shoulders. So that is one downside, but I think you can work your way around if you want to do so. All right, so I think there's only one thing left to show since we got the Reiki Kai now, so I'll be right back and we'll, we'll end it off there. Okay, I'm back. So here we have all the three upgraded males units. So we have the Kembuzan, the Jogan Kai, and then the Reiki Kai. Now, once again, all three kits were very great. I actually enjoyed all three of them. 
And for those who haven't tried any Kyoko I Think series kit, I highly recommend you try at least one of them. So it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be the Mills unit. There's also like really good good ones like the Brady Hounds as well. And then there's the Ghost Mark 1 and Ghost Mark 2. Definitely I highly recommend those as well. So once again I really enjoyed these and once again we got all the trio. Now there is technically a one um, another males unit called Byakuchi and we do have that out there but once again the Bandai did show like I'm not sure it's going to be a premium Bandai kit there is a high chance it will be that they showed a sand color variant of the Byakuchi so it's now in like this green and brown color with more weapons attached to it I'm not sure if that's considered an upgrade or but still um, if that shows up I'm really going to try that as well Anyway, that was pretty much it. This That was the review of the Aishi Reiki Kai. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out. So, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.